Hi guys, welcome to production with Jolie on Jolie TV. I'm Jolie. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Have you wondered why Nigerians are hated around the world? They are hated among Africans, they are hated among Asians, they are hated among hmm, whole lot of people around the world. I'm not saying that every person hates Nigerians, but most of the majority of people you meet, they're going to tell you that they have problems with Nigerians. I don't know why, but I've heard a lot from other Africans, other people, and they've said a lot. Well, I'm not going to be discussing this alone today. I'm just going to go back to the studio and discuss it with my friend Elma. Alright, see you guys in the studio. Ciao! Right, right. I'm back in the studio trying to find out why Nigerians are hated across the globe. If you ask 10 people, 9 out of them are going to tell you we don't like Nigerians, we don't like Nigerians, we don't like Nigerians, Nigerians. Nigerians, Nigerians, we are on the lip of everybody. So I want to find out why Nigerians are hated. Please, I really want to. I'm not alone as usual. Tea baby, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, Julie. Oh, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How was your day today? Yeah. Great. Thank I did you great. for having me on board. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, T baby, I don't know if you have had a encounter where you know when when you when you say you're a Nigerian <laughs> once you say you're a Nigerian, I don't know. There's this cold, I don't know if I would say cold and mean look once you introduce yourself as a Nigerian, most especially to Africans. A little bit, yes, from other part of the world, but once you and you say that to other Africans, there's this cold, there's this mean, there's this scary look on their faces. So I don't know if you have had that encounter. I I really want to discuss on it today with you. I don't know if you have that. Have you encountered that? What do you have it's to really, say? I've not had such an encounter with anyone that will outrightly, you know, give me those mean looks or tell me they don't like Nigerians. But I've heard people say, um, we don't, I, I don't like Nigerians because um, they think they are far better than all. You know, I've heard such comments, but not to me directly. And, um, well, when it comes to situations like that, if you ask me, I'll say try to be good at home because we within ourselves, like I mean, within within the Nigerians now, sometimes the way we treat each other. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get to that point. I'm gonna get to that point. I know where you're going to. I'm gonna get to okay. that point. Okay. I I for one have encountered that not once, not you know, not not just it's not just more than one time. Um, like let me just say the recent one. I was I was I was at the cafeteria eating. Then a colleague of mine walked out. She came to sit with me. Then maybe we, we spoke for a while. Then you know, like people you know, once I talk, you definitely will know that this person is from Africa. She was like, I, she was like, are you from Nigeria? I said yes. She said, wow. That the last person she asked if she was in Nigeria I said, good for me. That the lady. And I asked her, I said, where is the lady from? She said, she said somewhere, she said something that started with, I started naming the name, is it Tanzania, which I, she said, yeah, something like that. That the lady said, God forbid, how dare, how dare her compare her to Nigerians? And oh. she went for that to ask me that, why is it that we don't like ourselves? And I know that's not the first time, even when I came in into this country, for instance, the first person I had as a friend was a Ghanaian. And one day she called me and she was like, another Nigeria she introduced to me said she should be care she should be careful of Nigerians. That the lady is always telling her, where do you always pick these Nigerians? Where do you always see all these Nigerians? And she's a, in fact, she's a bini babe. That's the worst part. She's a Nigerian. And the lady was warning her, be careful of Nigerians. Be careful of Nigerians. That is the problem. You remember I said something? I, I, yes, I heard you. I, 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 I wanted you to hear a little bit of mine before we get to that point. Because we, I know whether we are our self problem, you understand? Uh -huh. But I wanted us to get to that point. So now, my point now is, what is it about Nigerians? What is it that, about Nigerians that other parts of the world, other parts of, especially Africans, 
don't like about us? I think if you ask me, I'll say, well, our demons could be fighting each other yes. just because, you know, just like being, just like the name connotes, Nigeria is a giant of Africa, you know. Yeah. As of self, how do I put this now? Most people, okay, it's just like saying nobody wants to, nobody wants to admit, you know, that fantasy about anybody. Most, like, 80% of people, humans. Are you, are you saying inferiority complex? Yeah, complex <laughs> comes in and at the same time, you know, you're right, the people are, you know, it's just like saying, other African countries are already fighting and they're like, what's the, what's the big deal about them? After all, you know, of course, we all hear what goes on. Just like the father will call, I mean, if a father calls you, if a father calls his or her child, a bad child, that's the same way other people or neighbors around will treat that child. Right? Yeah, you're right. And yes. I, I oh. let me even tell you of my sec the second encounter too. This time okay. around, was, she was a Tanzanian. No, no, she was uh, a Rwandi. So this, oh, wow. yeah, the first time I met her too, I, I like I introduced myself as in because definitely when once you see an African, you will know there's a little yeah. bit different. You will know you, you don't need to be told that this person is an African. So when I said I was in Nigeria, she rolled her eyes. You know, I know she's definitely. I'm gonna send her one of, uh, once we're done with this production. I'm gonna send her a copy of it, and she can confirm. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, she's a, she's a, she's from Rwanda. And the way she rolled her eyes, I was like, do you have a problem with Nigerians? Do you know what she said to me? Uh -oh. Let, let her quote me wrong. She said, Nigerians are tips. She was tips. She said it exactly what, I'm, I'm putting her words to words. That Nigerians are tips. I felt bad. I felt like, okay, even if you have a problem with one or two Nigerians, you know, but that that is that is fallacy of gross generalization for God's sake. You don't know me. You don't, you've never met me before. We're just meeting for the first time. I'm only you know. I was only asked to train you. You, you understand? I just introduced myself as you know a fellow African. So I was I was not expecting that you know. And one I think as time goes on, like me, I'm like. I always like to, you know, to keep discussing from time to time, just to, you know. She said, yes, that when she, when, when she was studying abroad, that the first, that she, I think she was, she studied in Spain or one of those French-speaking countries. So she, for her, she said she didn't meet a lot of Africans there. That the only one African she met was a Nigerian, and he came to sell drugs to her. You know? So if you see, oh. she has this if you have an encounter with one bad one doesn't mean you know yes one bad egg then you feel that all nigerians are thieves because she used that word nigerians are thieves that the world knows that nigerians are thieves <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah it sounds funny but that was the way she said it you know <laughs> that was the way she said it you know i felt bad as a nigerian but you know that that comes to you know I, I if you if you ask other parts of you know other Africans they're still gonna tell you the same thing. Yes, we know you know there are you know there are bad eggs among 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 us. There are bad people doing bad things, just as it is all over the world. You know, I I tell people that don't judge anybody based on what you heard about where that person he or she comes from judge them individually you understand for the fact that you hear that oh nigerians are corrupt they are into is the uh, 419 which is scam they are into um drug who so who is not into drug is there any country you can name that they don't have drug dealers is there any country you want to call that they don't have people who scams is there any country you know it's is it's like you know these are like bad eggs among them, but you cannot generalize that for every person you meet. Thereby, you know, once you meet... If, if you ask me about that, I think we just have level of exposure. Like, I would take that to heart because if you hear someone's, I mean, for her to say what she said, it's just the, you know, that myopic mindset of, you know, 
know, yeah. every, this, this, that because uh, it's just the level of our uh, level of exposure, though. Because exposure goes a long way. That one one egg is bad doesn't mean you condemn the whole eggs in the street and say, oh, everything there is bad. You know. I mean, exposure is education. I mean, it just has a level yeah, of Yes, they, they are not well educated so about order, you know. Show all sorts of statements. Yes, I agree but with Nigeria you. Nobody are still doing great things everywhere. And you know, in your in your in your comment, you said something about uh, them feeling we are we are always that we behave like we are better than them. You know, I've yeah, heard that. Than. We have I've heard about that not just among the Africans, even among the blacks. They always yes, use that okay. word. They always feel they are better than us. They always feel they are better than yeah, us. I'm, they I'm, say I'm, we are very I'm, pompous. Another word is that we are very pompous. What do you have to oh, say yeah. about that? Well, some will say they are very rude. And we are very rude. Mm. That we are rude and pompous. We are proud set of people. Yeah. You know? But especially when they keep saying we feel that. Because I actually asked one of my friends, Chassidy to be precise. I asked, I said, what do you people mean by we always feel we are better than them? She said, yeah, that when we come, when we come here, we are treated better than they are, and we are told. I said, who are these we and who told? She said she that, that there was a time one of them told me that that one was a guy this time around that he was worked with uh, a firm that the supervisor had to call the African guy, which is a Nigerian. And and told and told him as in that you are not like them. He's black, but the the, oh. the supervisor was not telling the Nigerian guy that you are you are not the same like this guy. You are not you are better. So he overheard it and he felt oh, bad. Yeah. So I feel you yeah, know see, that is the problem. Exactly, and you know Nigerians. If you ask me, we are all one. Then another thing too, we I would like us to look at is achievements. You know, you know Nigerians because they keep saying that we we feel we are better than them, we we are pompous, we are proud. Don't forget we are very self sufficient kind of people. There is no way you take Nigeria to that they will not survive. For instance, you know, take for instance that if you come into the Western world as an as a Nigerian, the first thing that you want to do is. Acquire an education. How to better your life. Exactly. You if you come with an education, you want to further oh. it. If you don't, oh. you want to go back to school and acquire an education. And once but you acquire that, education, that just comes natural. Yes. That just comes natural. So who? Everybody who, wants a good life. Exactly. So oh. when a Nigerian goes to school and comes out and get a, a good job, you don't expect the person to steal. You know, I'm not trying to defend. You know, Nigerian saying, oh. We need to. We need to look down on other people, other other oh. people. But you know, I don't. I I, I don't know how to say it without sounding a little bit rude. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity and you don't take it, and somebody comes and pick it up, mm -hmm. who is to be blamed? You understand? Mm -hmm. Who is to be blamed at that point? Then now let us go back to the main because. The main, this whole thing that we are talking about, the main problem is ourselves, the Nigerians. Mm, <laughs> we are our self problem. You understand? Mm. Nigerians are our self problem. Yeah. What other people say about us is what Nigerians tell them. Yeah. You understand? Every Nigerian, is a, every Nigerian you see is selfish. Yeah. You understand? If you want to, if let's say for instance, if you if you work with a, a a Nigerian person, for instance, both of you you work together, and there's a position available for someone to pick up, that Nigeria will go behind you. You understand? Mm -hmm. To 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 criticize you and give them reason why you should not. Even when the Nigeria is even when he or she knows that he's not gonna get that position. He, would, he he or she would prefer that 
if I don't get it, okay. my fellow Nigeria would not Nobody get it. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not bother as long as we're in Nigeria. He, oh. She doesn't care if is any other ethnic group, any other, you know, but don't be in Nigeria. Don't be above me. Let's be on that same level. You understand? The same Nigerians. Okay, imagine that lady now telling uh, the Ghanaian lady that she should be careful of Nigerians. Of you. Exactly. Of, of Nigeria. Where do you get this Nigerian? Where do you make friends with Nigeria and be careful of Nigeria? We, we have never met her. If, if it was even the Ghanaian lady that told me, I don't even know the lady. You understand? How now, now telling people that Nigerians are bad and you're a Nigerian, what that makes it? What, what part of that speak of you? You understand? Exactly. If I tell, if I tell, if I tell somebody that Nigerians are bad, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are that, and I'm a Nigerian. What does that speak about me? Like pointing, pointing one finger and the remaining is back on Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. You understand? And oh. if you meet a Nigerian here, for instance, do you know that the, the worst set of person you meet to ask for advice or what to do is a Nigerian? You understand? Yeah. We are talking now based on ourselves. You understand? Yeah. What we do to ourselves. Let's even leave aside what other um, people think about us. You understand? Okay. We don't even like ourselves to start with. You understand? That you meet you meet your travel person, you speak the same language. The person walks Hi. away. <laughs> it's like they, they feel like you're coming to ask them for money. Or I don't know if I let this person come close to me now, he or she will be asking for help all the time. That's what that's what their mind just tell them instantly. So they don't want to even, you know, sorry. Give you, excuse me, an opportunity to, you know, get to know them or get a good advice. They will not tell you nothing. You understand? I think I've encountered people like that. And from my little um, research and analysis, I realize that most people that act that way, trust me, were never in the city before they got to this part of the world. Yeah. <laughs> talk of the respect when you even talk of the respect let me let me let me even give you a clear scenario do you know that if you meet a nigerian here if you take for instance someone that is older than you and you want to give that same respect you know we we are, we are groomed to respect our elders but do you know that if you give them that same respect you they will treat you worse than every other person that don't that that that, that, that you know that does not respect them the way you do I don't know if you have noticed it. Oh. That's when they want to turn you into, you know, maybe their mates. You know, th that's oh. when they want to disrespect you because anyway, you are I, giving I, them I, that I've respect. Heard, I've heard people say that. I've heard people say that. Well, I think it's all about courage. It's all about courage. The respect doesn't mean you like fear you. Uh oh, I make it. I will make it straight up. Like, I mean. Respecting doesn't mean I'm scared of you. <laughs> a whole lot of them don't think about that. You know, here everybody yeah, here. Yeah. People have people have very people have very people are very shallow minded. And trust me, regardless your age, once I say that in you, you can't. In fact, I don't even attract people like that. You can't come close because I can't deal with small minds. I can't deal with it. Uh -uh. No, 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 I can't. I know I hear a lot of shit like that. Like, I know a lot of shit going on. I don't get close. You can't even come close to me. Listen, there's no need. What for? <laughs> because I know what people here are the problem of themselves. I know, I know. It's hard. I know. We're all in a strange land. <laughs> we all come here to better our life. So, why should I think I'm better than the other person? Or why should I think, you know, the other person shouldn't go like, why? I, that mindset is just something 
I can't wrap my head around it. I just don't know why people act the way they do. But trust me, most of such people, if you check very well, they have left their villages to the U.S. They, they, they've never seen the four walls of the silver city. In main menu, John, yes, button 106. In main menu, 29 channels. Mentality, that thing. Even though you stay here forever, you know, you still, keep it, you still find those traces in there. Yeah. It's sad. I agree with you. I agree with you. Hundred percent. You know, who coming from your village and coming to America, living in bonds. You know, you you're all at the top. People should have grown that. If you're living in Africa, leave that African mindset behind you. Yeah. And don't bring it into different cultures and think you know it's hard. I think people are very. Uh, uh, man, I've seen a lot going on out there, man. But the truth is, you know when you make yourself available, though. You know, but you, but you know, you know, you know, like here, most most Nigerians don't even want to stay around. You know, fellow That's Nigerians. Okay. Yes, it's because of most. You know, some of these reasons, the way we treat ourselves, the the way we set ourselves up, the way we tell other African people that we are, you know, Nigerians are bad. Nigerians are bad. Don't go close to them. Nigerians are if you are in Nigeria, for God's sake, it's not like you are from any other country. God, you know, yeah. and because I noticed that some of those people that they, they talk to, some of them have not really, really have encounter with Nigerians. They are only acting and talking only based on where only. To what exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because that same lady, let me let me be honest with you, that same lady mm -hmm. that that said Nigeria and Nigerians are thief. Mm -hmm. Believe in me, when you know when she left. And she needed to get another job. Mm -hmm. Guess who she used as a reference? Guess who she don't, used? Don't tell me. Don't tell me what yeah. she She put me as a reference. That's a joke, right? I'm, what joke? I'm, I'm making a video and I know she, she's going to watch it. You understand? She used me as her reference. The same, her. the same evil. The same, because I told her there's something I told her. I said, oh. don't judge people based on what you heard. You that's heard. that's me. If you tell me somebody is bad, the person I I try to find out myself. Oh, I don't judge okay. person based on what. Look at the person. Judge based on what you're saying. You understand? Based on your encounter with the person. You understand? Don't just and feel oh because they say this set of people are bad. Then you just go generalize everybody. Bad people. You understand? Give them the give yourself the opportunity to find out who they are and. And one thing I also notice is that the same set of people that says Nigerians are did it, Nigerians are that. If you stay close to them, they are even worse than what they are saying. Oh, oh. Their character is even worse than what oh. you know what they say other Africans are. Oh. You understand? Oh, oh. Yes, I agreed. I'm not disputing that we have scammers among us. You know, oh. we have what do they call um, thieves according to them among us. We have um, our our official our government officials the embezzle fund and all that. Yeah. But this is a global problem. There is no country you walk into that you don't see the government embezzling money. You don't see. Exactly. <laughs> my thought. Exactly. So, what what is the difference? The difference is is, is that who they say how they used to say it in Nigeria. They say now who they catch. Now they know as the thief, right? Exactly. You understand? Because Nigerians, uh -huh. the, the trumpet is blown very loud. So yeah. everybody can hear it. Yeah. And that is really, really affecting Nigerians. Yeah. Do you know that if you catch an African doing something wrong oh. and you ask the yeah. African, where are you from? The person picks Nigeria immediately. If you catch, if you catch, let's say, for instance, let me use a, a Liberian now, uh -huh. committing crime. And he's asked, yeah. where are you from? He says he's a Nigerian. Yes, I've heard, I've seen, I've seen, I've watched a video like that, I've seen something mm -hmm. like that. Yes, because... Someone was caught to the act and when he was asked, I think he was from, was it Cameroon or Ghana? One of those countries, though. And the person boldly said he was a Nigerian. He was asking someone to search that they got to realize he was a Cameroon. You see? 
because they, they know that we are already they they've known Nigerians to be criminals to do the whole yeah. you understand so they want to keep giving us that bad bad thing. there was a video I watched I don't know if you were the one that sent after you know when Nigeria uh, when we had the the ban or the travel ban of you know of the you know of all the things and the achievement that Nigerians have done yeah, why in the United States you. you understand so yeah. how come we are not hearing much of those kind of things other than the you know the bad the bad the one. bad, the bad you know, well there's nothing much to say because they say bad uh, bad news very very fast and very wide unlike oh. the you know the good the good news well that would be it for tonight what 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 would be your take what will what's what's your advice to you know other africans other people from you know other part of the world who still think you know all nigerians are bad we are evil we are scammers we are <laughs> i don't know prostitutes everything uh, all the whole bad names in the world nigerians I would, are that <laughs> i would say i mean It's a it's a hard one, right? <laughs> your question your question is what would be my take or advice? What would be your advice to them? What would what would what would be your message? Have, I mean I would say they shouldn't judge the book by the cover. They exactly. should, should always try and look at the, the brighter picture. Exactly. I mean, the, the better side of our well, whatever they think we are that makes us think that makes them go. You know, because deep down then they see these differences. So I would rather have them emulate the good things and leave the bad ones because we are all learning right we all learn every day so why don't you look at the good side of this country oh, because they are like this you know they tried in this yeah and just see the good part of it or part of us and just leave the bad part because as far as i'm concerned wherever they have hailed from they also have bad eggs exactly. they also have thieves in their country exactly. they also have scammers in their country mm -hmm. exactly you know? Exactly. It's not only Nigeria. At least Nigeria is doing great things all over the world. Pick the good ones, emulate the good ones, and leave the rest because in your own country too, you have bad eggs too. So yes. you're not better than us either. You know. So I would say, you know, they should just look at the brighter picture and just leave all these petty things petty. <laughs> like, I agree I with you. I can't deal with pettiness. <laughs> Duty, baby. Well, for me, I don't have much to say. I will only say for Nigerians, I have my only message is for Nigerians now. Let's okay. try and build our image. What we have, what we have, you know, our image is already very, very bad. Let's try and build on it. We can't change everything overnight, but as an individual, work on your relationship with other people so that at least you, you can be one, one good Nigerian. Since exactly. other yes, yeah, since other ones are bad, just be one good Nigerian. That is enough. Well, don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to Jolly TV Global with Jolly or Jolly TV Global. I shall come your way next time. Like I always say. Au revoir. Bye, T-Baby. Bye, Julie.